Hello my friends, I'm Oliver. How are you doing? Nice to see you again. Today I bring you two brothers. These are two heavy duty chassis trailer. It's here. And I got one red, one black. I just unboxed them. The box is still there. So now I'm will explain to you what is this. Let's see how is this one working. How is the details of this one? Okay, one black, one red. So I will put black one aside. Let's see the red one. They are exactly the same, only the painting different. So we got this one. Here we got one oil tank. You can put some liquid inside. Imitated one. Okay, here you see. Here we got the hook for the trailer truck. And uh, this quite long one, so we can put the loader, excavator, or something we can drive it on to tow it and drive it around. This is this one, it's all this manual, can put down and uh, can lift up. This all manual and uh, can be locked by this connecting rod. Okay, this side you will see, you put the lock. So it, it won't fall down. Okay. And here are two axle tires. They all have no power. It's all trailer. As you see, it's all coming from the tracked head. This each got double tire. So can lift up very heavy stuff. And uh, you can see this frame is alloy see it's, it's also die casted uh -huh. yeah this one CNC my mistake not die cast this is CNC alloy I got many bolts screws to connect each part so to ensure the strand strong not bending not broken here we got this lifting lifting leg. It's also manual. You can see this. We lift up. It will go goes back. We lift up and uh, stretch out. We put this lock and can be locked. Okay, this is a lifting leg. Also manual. Okay, we put this down. We will measure how long it is. Actually, we need to know how wide it is because some excavator very big. We need some same size. This one is 21 centimeter wide, 21 centimeter. For the height, we can measure here. It's around only eight, around eight centimeter here. Less, maybe five, six, five point, five point eight centimeter, five point eight. Okay, so here is the most high place is the oil tank. Here is around also twenty one point two, twenty one point two centimeter. Okay, let's see how long it is. This is the lens. And here, 100 and almost 108, 108 centimeter. Now you can see almost 108. Okay. So. Actually, this one only 21 centimeter. If you put your x sweater like this, it's, it's a very big one. I will just touch it. I will move it to put it down. Now not, not locked. You see this how wide it is? This one should maybe around 30 centimeter. If I put on this, only the edge inside will be on the trailer. It's not safe. So if you want to drive on one x sweater, it should be some smaller one. I can put it to let you see. Let's put the arm bucket put behind because in the front very tall.
As you can see behind the, the track, only half on the trailer, not safe. If you drive this on the trailer, maybe you fell down and broken the excavator. So better you drive on one smaller one. So let's see how wide is this excavator track. This one is around 23. So two centimeters more. It's okay if you have good skill. If you are a good operator, you can drive on. This one can do. If more, why? Cannot. Very dangerous for your models. Okay, I put this aside. Very heavy one. Need to do more exercise to play with this stuff. Okay, so I will now put one track to track. Connect it to let you see. Move that stuff aside so we have enough space to drive a little of this track track. Okay, we need to take back the standing leg. Okay, we put this one. Already take out. Before we put this one, need to. I will show you, if I put this trailer inside, it will be locked, now locked. So if you want to put the trailer first, pull out. So now I can put the trailer. Okay, now it's locked, you hear it? Okay. For this one, we can drive this loader, it is a little wide, also need a little bit good skill because as you can see, this loader also quite wide here. Maybe half the tire will be out of the trailer. But we can try. I will drive this on the trailer and uh, we start the track truck to move around to see. Okay, we first connect the battery. Power on. Okay, here is the controller for this loader. We will start. Okay, start, wait, loading. Okay, already start. As we already showed before, have engine sound start. We can drive around this, this all the function. Turning, turning, backwards, forward. Okay, now I will try to drive it on the trailer. Okay, first power off the loader, then power off this controller. Good, now we will start the tractor. Here is its controller. And before we start, this is already loaded, so we lock it. Okay. 
for this tractor, we open the cabin. It's from here, have one lock, pull it out. Here we put the bat battery chamber here. Okay, we connect it. Here the sound already powered on. Okay, we put it back. Good, already locked. Now we start the controller. On the head light already on. Okay, okay already this controller powered on. And uh, we will try first each switch, what function it have. Uh, this one is the light. Okay, another one. Also light. This one. Uh. Okay, okay, also light. Another one. Uh, this one also controlling this light and the small guy. Okay. So, for here, have another switch. This one should be differential lock. Only two position. This one, one, two, three. This one should be the speed control box. So, three speed. Okay. This one is backwards, forward, got plenty power. Okay, so this one is the turning. This one very heavy, so better as a driver, you will know if the tractor very heavy, better turning when you're moving the, the tractor truck. Okay, now we drive forward. Now we will drive forward okay. very fast. We slowly move this control stick to turn right and left. Okay, stop. This table is not so big to show the power of this tractor. This track truck, trailer, and the so letter. When we call time, we will go outside. Out the door to play. Okay, let's see it. Actually, this truck has got plenty of power. If I pull the stick a lot, it's going very fast. Thank you. Okay, that's the function. So you see, this is we customize this truck, and this trailer we just bring you, and this loader we drive on it to see it. This is around more than 20 kg, so this tractor is power enough for mostly the excavator also around 20 kg. So this one should be good enough for for your. Excavator loader, you drive it around to show off with your friends having fun. Okay, so thank you very much. This is the, is the trailer I bring you today. So we will see each other tomorrow. I will bring you more. Thank you very much. I'm Oliver from Tokyo Hobby. Bye bye.